The Rolling Stones stopped by Lumen Field in Seattle last night, May 15, as part of their Hackney Diamonds tour. The stadium event began with blues guitar virtuoso Joe Bonamassa performing a selection of his own songs and a rendition of 24-Hour Blues by Bobby Blue Bland before the main attractions came on stage. Mick Jagger, Keith Richards, Ronnie Wood, and their renowned supporting band were ready to take the stage once the stage gear was rearranged. The fan-voted highlight of the event was July 27, 2022, when the band performed Wild Horses, which was both the tour debut and a blowout. Glamorizing on stage and strutting her stuff, Jagger started with a throwback, Get Off of My Cloud, from 1965, before setting the mood for Let's Spend the Night Together, accompanied by Chuck Leavell's groundbreaking key work. An unforgettable moment occurred when Jagger took up the guitar and played the opening chords and riffs of a more recent song, Angry, off the Hackney Diamond album. The band reminded their Emerald City crowd, it's only rock and roll, but I like it, as they returned to classics. Next, the reveal of the fan-voted song came as a high point. The screen was filled with possibilities, much like a slot machine, with songs like She's a Rainbow, Far Away Eyes, and others that were bound to go unplayed. In its place, Wild Horses was chosen by the public. This track marked the band's return to performing their Graham Parsons co-write, which they hadn't done since their 2022 European tour. Prior to Tumbling Dice and the subsequent You Can't Always Get What You Want, the new single Whole Wide World debuted. The night's highlights, including the crowd-pleasing Sympathy for the Devil and Little TNA, followed You Got the Silver. With Miss You, Jagger took up the guitar once again, continuing a string of successes that included Gimme Shelter, Paint It Black, and the closing number, Jumpin' Jack Flash. Thanks to the enthusiastic reception they received, the band returned for an encore that included Sweet Sounds of Heaven and the jaw-dropping I Can't Get No Satisfaction. After the dust settled, the event served as a poignant reminder of the transformative power of music across generations.